Hey everyone, so this is going to be like my first ever tutorial. Um, actually, start, well, not really start to finish, but the start of a scrapbook. Um, but first, I'm going to go into a little bit of detail on the scrapbooks. And yes, I do have a happy birthday banner still up for my mom's party, but with my grandmother falling, I really didn't feel like taking it down. Mind you, it's been since November that this has been up. Um, so, God, this is going to be so awkward for me, but what video is it? And sorry for the backlighting, because it's still matter late. It's like, what, 3.30, I think? 3.30, 4 o'clock-ish? I don't even know what time it is, and that's so bad. All right, and I also have to listen for my grandmother in the background. Yay! Okay, so. Dear God, like I said, please be with me. Um, so, for Christmas, I made my best friend two scrapbooks. Which Little Miss Big Mouth told her, like, as soon as I started making them. But she really didn't know what pictures I put in. It was, like, all up to me and what pictures I put in to her books. Yes, I said books. Um... Because I couldn't decide, do I use a small one, which would be an 8x8, or do I use a 12x12? So, I should have done the 12x12 for her weight loss and the 8x8 for her and her husband. Uh, so, okay. Something you need. Your needs. Because I can't think of the word I want to use for this particular thing I'm trying to say. Scrapbook needs. Okay. You have to determine what size scrapbook you want to use. Uh, for this particular this yeah for this particular project, I'm using my twelve by twelve that I got from Michael's the other day, from a previous video, which would be my Michael's haul from. The 16th? 18th? The other day. I'll put the link down in the description box after. So this is my 12 by 12 I'm working with. Trust me, I got a crap ton of pictures. Put that right thing. Um, this is also not That one is a leather bound 12 by 12 Already came with... I'll show you, which I think I did in the video. Came preloaded with the page protectors and some cardstock, which I never use the cardstock that they give you. To me, it's flimsy and it has no character because this is all black. Yes, it can make the picture stand out and you can use some of the cardstock, which I'm going to show you momentarily to make the picture stand out. But to me, Black's black. I have to wear it every day for work. Why would I want to see it in a book? Um, then you got fabric scrapbooks. Um, this is another 12 by 12. This is which right? the one I did for my friends Beth and Brandon. For their wedding. And throughout the years. This was Fat Beth. Sorry, Beth, you know that. Um... Against some of their pictures, but she gave me full permission to use pictures, their scrapbooks, because I rather make it where she says it's okay to use. Uh, and then this is an, the 8x8 eight eight that I did for her. Um, you can have a picture, you can make it personal. With writing, which says, which you can't really see it, with the reflection, it says Beth's Weight Loss and Friends Scrapbook. And this one, I wrote a little note in front and pictures from her friends. Well, all I really got is me and her other friend, Hector, and her surgery and her cookie crisps. So, 
This is basically an 8x8. Eight eight. It was Nick. Hashtag blame Nick. Beth. Um, which is basically completely all filled up. I mean, I constantly had to go back to buy freaking... Hey, okay, I did two pages for the last one. Huh. And I looked before I did it. But this is an 8x8, eight eight, which, as you can tell, was completely filled. Let me tell you, I had to go to at least Michael's 10 times to get pages for this book. She's like, hey, I love that. If, it did, if she didn't, she'd be in trouble. Oh, that hurt. Um... So, another thing you would need, you may ask yourself, Danielle, put this, 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 that. <laughs> um, you might say, Danielle, how do I put the pictures into the scrapbooks? Well, my friends, let me tell you. Yes, multiple things you can use to get them in the pictures into the books and make them stay. A piece of advice, never use glitter paper. Never, because it's a bitch to work with. Um, Elmer's puts out a thing called Tape Runner. Which, again, this was in my last video. I hinted at it. Tape Runner. You can buy it like this. I think it, another one comes in blue. It's the same thing. Same product. But just this is in blue. The Tape Runner holder is in blue. Yes, I have, I have like three of these. Um, I use this and tape. Actually, not really tape, but you can use tape. I haven't used tape for my scrapbooks in years. Um, so I use this, which is Elmer's Craft Bond, which is basically tape runner. Um, it comes two in a pack. I bought this one and another one. Um, they also have these things called permanent squares, I think. I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is that you can use to put in, hold your pictures and cardstock in place. Uh, now you might say, Danielle, what if I want to cut down a picture? Do I use scissors? What do I use? Well, I also, well, I use scissors. I just happened to grab these. It could be shorter, rounded, like kitty scissors. It can be any kind of scissors. And I use this, which is the cut down paper trimmer. Durr, that's what it's called. Durr. Paper trimmer, which you can lift it up. And again, I should have practiced this before I did it. And for the, like the 12 by 12s. This goes up to insert the pictures in here, which I'll de demonstrate this later. This is for like the 12 by 12. You can make it trimmer if you want it to, or just, thank you, cut it down more. Um, okay, so that, that. Um, I know, I say um a lot, and I go off camera a lot, which I should have thought of this before. Um, actually, let me, so I can show you guys, I got room to move. Okay, so, cardstock. I've had this, well, set of cardstock for, like, years. And I just started to use it. Now, this has multiple pages, as you can see. Nice. You can have fancy, like, letters or polka dots. I won't be using the polka dots. So it's going to be, like, front to back once I take it out. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use this pack in today's video or not. I'm not sure. There's multiple cardstock packs like this. And then there's also primary colors, which lately I've been using a lot in, especially in Beth's 12 by 12. 
Uh, and they also have, I think this is, let me look. I think this is like paper, loose leaf eight and a half by five inches or 11 inches. I'm not exactly sure. But you can cut down or you can put on the 12 by 12, like center it and stick it in, which I've never done that. Or you can use to make it into an 8x8 eight eight with this. Use the pre cardstock, the black cardstock that comes in it, and cut it down like that. That's another option. Uh, and there's stickers. You can get multiple stickers, funny stickers like this. It says, I'm not saying anything. I like you. I like you not. What are you smoking? Don't ask me a smile. And it goes so on. And I used these before. I don't remember some of the stuff that's on there because it's in this 12 by 12 and 8 by 8. Um, us, love at first sight, my, cra my crush, crazy in love. Um, and I have one with sisters, which is floating around somewhere. Um, like I said, I got so many stickers in this alphabet stickers. If you want to, like, spell it out, like, hi, how are you? I love you. True love, puppy love, someone's name, you can do that. Then best friends, girls night, you know, whatever. Uh, then there is, whoa, hello, what the hell's this? Oh, apparently I don't need you, random newspaper. Then there's gel pins, which you can use regular pins, doesn't matter. These are amazing. Got these at Ollie's, which is, I don't know if it's nationwide, worldwide, I don't know, like Michael's. But this is cheap, it has at Ollie's cheap, you know, discount store. I'm trying to think of what it'd be like. I don't really know what it would be like. Kind of like at Ames used to be. Um, kind of like you're running the mill department store, but not really. This isn't necessary, but it's scrapbook case, which this one's broken, so I kind of got to be careful with it. Because I don't know whether it's broken. Yeah, it's broken right there. I highly, highly do not suggest buying this because it's cheap as shit. Okay. And then, oh, dude, that's heavy. And I'm still working on my new kids on block jacket and my new kids on block scrapbooks, but I haven't really worked too much on them lately. There's a spling to put on the jacket, but you can also use it in scrapbooks, which I'm going to possibly use today or tomorrow or whenever I scrapbook next. So, oh, stay there. I'll pick you up after. Ribbon. I have never used ribbon in scrapbooking. Until I made the 12 by 12s, the 12 by 12 and 8 by 8 bit. I love it. Even though it's glitter, and I bitch about it, I still love it. Okay. I guess I'll pick you up after. So, another thing that will help you scrapbook pictures. I have a ton. So, let me clear some of this stuff, move it to another part of the table, so I can actually stop working and kind of give you like a quick tutorial on how I do it. Toss that. Yes, I'm cleaning and talking and doing this video so you guys can see me go loco. Been like a hot minute. I should have taken a sip of coffee because this sucks. Um, 
While you're watching me act like an idiot right now, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and another thing I've done. You know the extra scrapbook paper if you cut down? This is all from like 12 by not 12. Eight and a half or something like that paper I cut down. Made it the confetti. Confetti is the bomb dot com. And Beth, if you're watching this, just be like you don't have more in there. In your scrapbook. So let me put her scrapbooks on my chair that I was just sitting on. Move that out of the way. Okay. Now with the scrapbooks. Plus my butt sore. Doesn't matter which way you go with it. But generally, you see the CD pack, or you put a CD or a disc, that's the back. At least that's where I come from, I think of. Okay, so, let me go like this, so. And that's some of the pictures from my mom's birthday present that me, Nikki, Beth, Nikki, Beth, and Brandon gave her. Okay, so, let me. Whoa, go like this so I can kind of. Yes, I'm using my tripod for the first time like this, so please be here with me because I'm going to be going back and forth seeing how it looks. All right, so I'm going to take out the first page. So this is what it's going to look like just a clear protective sheet, nothing in it. This I might get rid of. I'm going to probably recycle that. So I'm going to grab... Which one do I want to go with? Let's go with an orange peach. Like I said, I got these years ago. I think I got them at Michael's or AC Moore's when AC Moore was still open. Okay, so I'm put that on the floor I will pick that up so as you can see over here I had organized all these pictures by different categories and I um, did it in order of when they were taken from oldest to newest which was a bitch even well not even like where it says a true friend I didn't organize those because what's the point? Because then I'd be going sporadically into... Sorry for this. If anyone gets motion sickness, I'm sorry. Because I'm not sure how I'm going to have those on the page or where in the book. I'm trying to get this in the right spot. Okay, so who do I... How do I want to do this? Actually, I've never thought of it like that, but... Let's go... First, let me see if that one. Should I could do? Yes, technically, that is me and Beth's first picture together. Nope. Crap, Nicole, you fell on the floor. What the hell? Actually, I could go. Actually, no, I'm going to take a green page out. Because it's going to be the Wahlburgers page. Wahlburgers green. And I'll just randomly go. Okay, maybe I'll take two out at the same time. That's one thing I hate about these packs. Because they are perforated. Perforated and they suck. And sometimes I rip it and then I get all ticked off. And it's never pretty. Wall okay, so you can go like that, kind of like angle it. Nope. It's spam, so they don't need me. Wahlburgers. You know what? 
because I can always add in. This is when the food truck was in Worcester. Worcester. I just kill myself because I hate saying it like that. Is there any other at Wahlburgers? I don't think so. So, i put those two off to the side. And if anyone knows, I'm listening to Donnie Wahlberg in the background with Blue Bloods. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take the tape runner and kind of place the pictures where you want them on the page. Okay, like you could go like that. You can have it any way you want. Make it like kitty cornered. You can have it. Like, hanging off the page, and then you can trim it all up later. If you so be it with the scissors. But I kind of like it, like, yeah, kind of like this. Because I'm going to add, I have so many of Paul Wahlberg. I'm going to print one out later and put it up in the corner. So I'm going to go like this. Hold it at a 45 degree angle, which sometimes it doesn't come out and you think it doesn't. I don't think it comes out, but it does. Go like that. But this is Paul Wahlberg, Donnie Wahlberg's older brother. And he's such a sweetheart. Little stressed if you ever seen the Wahlberger show as I spit on the page. He's a little stressed. But you see, dude, what the hell? Thank you. It's because it wasn't snapped in right. Good going, Daniel. Let's not make sure that stuff's in. So when you do a video, it doesn't work and you want to scream. Yes, I realize I did a high pitch scream. But that's just me. Crazy. And sometimes I just put them in the pictures in and I go back to journal later okay so then today I might just journal a little bit well not really a little bit just to show you what I'm talking about so I cut off this excess pictures with the scissors Without trying to cut the page. Cut. Maybe I should buy a new pair of scissors. At Hobby Lobby tomorrow. Which be on the lookout for another video. Possibly tomorrow. Of my haul at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. That's what it looks like. Put it down so everyone can see it, Danielle. Duh. So then, I'm going to take some of this extra paper here. And I got two packs of these gel pens, because one's crappy. Take any color pen and write what you want. Why am I telling you this? Yeah, shut up, San Jose Twitter page. Rocky Road. Idiot, you gotta make sure that you like the color first before you actually start writing on it. Okay, so. Yeah, that looks cute. Of course, that's not gonna fit because Wahlburgers, in the way I write, doesn't fit like that. To me. And again, this is when well, then the my zipper clipper thing go to this paper cutter comes in handy. You just cut it like that. Yes, you can reuse this, but where I had already wrote on it, I'm not gonna reuse it. Okay, so Let's play this out again. 
let's go to W-A-H-L B-U-R-G-E-R-S Now mind you, okay I love New Kids on the Block and they have a song called Games, I believe Donnie wraps out his last name and I believe he goes you know that rap part I used to have to go W-A-H-L to the B-E-R. You know, I had to wrap it up like that. Why? Because I never could remember his last name. How to spell Wahlberg. And you want to cut it like that. Or use a paper trimmer to trim it. Yo, get off there. Dude, this is going to be a long video, which I kind of knew. Again, use... A tape runner, glue, tape, tape dots, whatever you choose. Yo, come here. Whatever you use, choose to use to get the pictures in and stick it. Alright, so now where's my open silver? I'm going to use the silver to kind of make Let's Go to Wahlburgers pop a little bit. So. I'm going to go like this. Okay, I want it a little over. So like right there. Which I should have smaller scissors for this job. Again, glitter sucks. You'll be picking it up for days. Days, I tell you. And whatever you do, do not use glitter paper. Because that's a bitch. To use. Glue it that. And if you go a little over, that's okay because next, like the next layer, we'll cover it up and it'll look mad cool. Mad cool, yo! So, is everyone ready for Easter? Lord knows I'm not because I'm probably going to have to work it. Perks of working in the nursing home. Go like that. God, this is a long friggin' video. Let me take a sip of my coffee. I tried that I... Dunkin' Donuts coffee! Yummy! I've only been drinking it since like... 1.30. That's okay with me. I'm not working tomorrow. Yay. I'm hanging out with Betsy Witsy Lulu. I say if you go a little over, that's fine. It's your book. You can make it look however you want it to look. If you want it to look all crazy, that's fine. That's over. I'm going to go like this. That. See, this is when glitter sucks. Because you have to use a lot of adhesive to make it stick onto each other. And you kind of gotta bing, 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 bing. Why do I use sound effects? I don't know. And then to finish it out, go like that. And that's basically the first page of the scrapbook. And you would put it into the page. There's protector in here. That's basically all that's to it. Well, I hope you enjoy this like half an hour video. I will possibly do more of these tutorials later on. Maybe even do another page later i'm not sure so talk to you guys later bye